He's in a day, I said, you know what, I've, I'm just a little bit cold and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a quick video on this machine before I, I uh, have some dinner and get warm. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through my K4 quickly, because a lot of people ask us what machine you use, why you use it, what's so good about it, how does it work? I get loads of questions, so just another quick one, just a brief one on it. So this is K4. K4 Plus Edition. Don't know why it's a Plus Edition, but um, it's a K4, we call it K. And uh, I'll show you how it works. I'll talk through how the, how the system works with it, yeah? So on top of here, you've got these, like, spikes. What you do is you put a bag on top of there, twist it, and it splits a bag for you. Lift it up, gear drops into there, and there's a big wheel in here. Now, when you turn on and you go in, this wheel spins. And what it does, it scoops up gear from inside there, and it lifts it up and it drops it into here. Now, this is a dry part. This is a motor. The rotor's down there, the mixing chamber's down there, but this is the motor, so it gets picked up, dropped through a hole that's behind here that you can't see. And then it all sits in here, and then water comes in from here and meets down here. So this is where the mixing shaft is. This is there's a mixing shaft in there, so the power's coming down from there dry, getting spun down. The water comes in here and meets it, and when it gets into here, this is the rotor and the stator. Now this compresses the material, and then it comes out of this end, yeah? Here we've got air outlet. So this got this is connected to the compressor, which is at the back of the machine there. And that basically, when that's on and you open the gun up, the air comes from there to this, and it goes into these pipes. So that's it, material pipe there. So the gear goes through there, the air comes through there, and it gets pushed along here. And you tack them together to make it easier, um, rather than having two loose pipes all over the shop, yeah? So then from there, you're wondering where the water comes from. The water comes into here. This is the water works here. This is the water pump. And uh, it's gravity fed from here, so you have to put it on an elevation. So you elevate it up, fill this with water from a hose, it comes down here, floats down here into the water pump. And when they turn the machine on again, everything starts and the water gets pumped through this pipe into the mixing chamber. That's how that works, yeah? So I'm going to show you quickly why our machine's so good because basically we can put 25 meters of hose on this and she will pump, no problem at all, and she'll project on. So I've got two, two 10 meter hoses and a five meter hose on this right now. And on the front of this house here, that's in where she's positioned now, is enough for us to spray the full thing. Do you know what I mean? So we don't need to move her now for this job, but um, I'm gonna show you a uh, generator. I'm gonna show you how far it actually, just to get a scale of how far it can go. The pipes on there. The generator, the generator is up here, so if you keep it out of the way, you've got a long um, armoured cable that goes to the machine and to the generator, yeah? So, generator's out of way, don't deafen you, yeah? Come round, long pipe. Pardon all the mess, it's not ours. Now I've only got to go to this extension round here and there's still more slack on it. There's another five meters on this still. But that's how far she goes. Do you know what I mean? Come back over here, Dee. Twenty kVA generator run with petrol, armoured cable, big car battery, it's a 999cc engine on it, so she's pretty powerful, and again, I'll come over here because I'm going to tell you why, what it is right, when it comes to machines, um, a lot of people ask us questions, they ask me a lot of questions about it, but do you know what right, it is an expensive investment, I'm not going to lie to you, this machine, K4, I think it's about eight and a half grand plus VAT. So it comes in at just shy of 10 or just, just over 10 grand, I think it is in total. Um, obviously, if that registers, you'll get it back, but or you'll get it written off. But the reality is this, yeah. Two men, me and Damien here, who's filming me. He might be a bit shaky because he's uh, a bit cold. Um, with me and him on this machine, just us two, we managed to spray 75 meters yesterday and the day before 75 meters. Now, it might not seem like a great deal, but when you're dubbing out stuff, 10 mils, 15 mils and stuff like that, and you don't want to be dragging bags about everywhere and 
buckets of water everywhere and mixers and leads and 110 leads and all that. This is what it, this is what the machine does. It just means that we can put everything in one place. I'm gonna come back down because this is why I set it up like this as well. So it's like if you're using a machine, if you're using a mixer, right, your water, you have to get it all the way up to the scaffolding no matter what lift you're on. Yeah, and you have to take your mixer to each lift as well. And you have to take the bag to each lift as well. So you've got three things that you need to put on each lift every time you're moving about. Or you've got, or basically someone's gonna be down here mixing, carrying it up, carrying it up. But that means more men on the team and it's not quick enough. Do you know what I mean? So even if someone was constantly mixing for us and we had to handball it on, we still won't be as quick as this. Do you know what I mean? So for me, it's a great investment. I've got my water set up there, but it all's packed to go straight to it. My mixer's there. Yeah, and then over here I've got bags. So I have to do is get my bags dropped there. When it gets dropped off on, uh, when it gets dropped off on um, on sites anyway, they usually put it on the driveway and it's right next to where you put the machine. So you sound so it's one of them for me it makes total sense. We do domestic work and we do commercial work, but mainly domestic. So you know standard size detached houses, semi semi detached houses, and they made light work of with this. Do you know what I mean? So again it's a big investment i don't think anyone's got 10 grand lying about us to buy one but if you are doing more more rendering stuff and you are looking at getting into it you know this is ideal this k4 is is beauty i've had an m200 before but this k4 is in my eyes it's perfect for someone who is new because you haven't got that many things to go wrong with it and it's also good for someone's experience because it's bomb proof it just keeps going do you know what i mean this keeps going i've got a rotor and stair that's at the end of its life and she's still mixing it I need new rotary stair after this job. This will get me through, but I need one more after this job. But she's boxed off probably six, seven hundred bags. Do you know what I mean? Before I have to change the rotor. I've had no problems with her. Nothing wrong with the air compressor. The only thing I have had wrong with it was um, one of the sensors be turning on, off and on. But just an easy thing to change, you know what I mean? And get and get going again. Other than that, water works has been bang on in it. I never back her up. Never backed up. Never, ever, ever backed up. It's like... Backups when water basically when the gear's too stiff, the ro the engine can't, uh, the motor can't ch turn and it can't pump out the gear. So what it does then it jams and the water backs up into the into the chamber. With this machine you don't get it because even if we we've mixed up before and left her sat for 40 minutes before, we're going to turn her on and she's just gone bang and she's just fired out whatever's there. The gear comes out a bit stiffer then it goes back to normal. You know, not many machines machines can do that. You either have to spray or not spray, clean her out. With ours, she's bomb proof. So the K4 is one of the machines where honestly I think it's good enough for a beginner and for a pro. You need some space because you've got a generator and you've got a big machine and you've got water books and stuff like that. So you need a decent sized van or a trailer like we've got. But the reality is, I would not do this job without this machine. I'd, just, I'd rather just go skimming because it's too much hard work, labouring stuff about. So yeah, we love it. I hope that explains a little bit more. And, um, yeah, you'll get to see us spraying. I'm going to do a time lapse on this front of this house. If you just have a quick look, show them all this here and down there. We'll have a coat on this within 35 40 minutes. I don't know anyone who could put a pass on at six mil for over that many meters in, in 40 minutes, do you? No. So, when we get a time lapse going, we'll show you anyway. It's all right, me talking it, but well, I'll time lapse it and show you. Anyhow, peace out, guys. Bye bye.